been almost two years since the final whistle blew at West Rock's paper mill here in Bay County. Since then, it's been a guessing game as to who would buy the land where the mill sits. Tonight, we know the answer to that question. News 13's Courtney Evans is live on the scene from the mill. And Courtney, who's the winner? Amy, it's an industrial company. SRM Concrete bought about 300 acres for $30 million. They say this property fits the needs of their ready mix company, which specializes in producing concrete. Now, they also say this, this location will benefit their customers. That's the sound of the new owners of the West Rock Paper Mill at work. SRM Concrete closed the deal for the remaining 300 acres of the mill February 16th. The deep water terminals allow us to bring in cement from anywhere in the world and support our, our ready mix needs. And so that's what the, the, the thought is by us purchasing this particular site and being able to uh, bring in cement and other cementitious materials. SRM already hired about a dozen employees. They're loading bags of cement onto a vessel for delivery. Over the course of time, you know, the site in general will, will, will look much better, uh, will not be uh, a site that pollutes in any way. Uh, so we're that's that's on the forefront of our mind. Now, SRM Concrete does plan to repurpose some of the buildings on the property, but the paper mill, which is right behind me, that will eventually have to be demolished. The paper mill itself, it doesn't do us any good, so we are working with companies to come and disassemble uh, the, the paper mill in its entirety. Uh, so that will take approximately 18 months to, to do that job start to finish, but we're working with a contractor and have already assign a contractor to do that work. This building, which housed many of the rolls of papers and mail machinery, still has remnants of what used to be here. Over the next five to ten years, SRM will work on developing the land. No better place that we would like to be than, than there and, and right in the thick of it uh, to meet our customer needs and, and meet the needs of a growing community that doesn't look like it's slowing down anytime soon. Now, SRM Concrete says they have hired several employees who have been on this property since the West Rock Mill closed. Courtney, SRM had plans to build three 17-story cement storage terminals or silos in Southport. Uh, what happened to those? Amy, those silos will now be built on this property. The CEO says that when he spoke to that community, he realized the concerns they had and decided against building there. That's why he decided to buy the mill property instead. But they will continue using the Southport location to keep moving some materials. But they hope in the future that all operations will be done here right on this property. News 13's Courtney Evans live in Panama City tonight. Thanks, Courtney.